me on your paper first thing reading fingers ready let's read the directions solve the sets of number sentences look for easy groups to cross off Okay, first one is six minus five equals blank. So let's use these beads over here. We want a minus five. I know that this is a quick five right here. I can quickly see that there's just one left. How about six minus one equals? Well, makes sense to just cross off this one white one up here to quickly see that there are five left. Eight minus three equals blank. And just quickly cross off those three that I see. And I can quickly see that there are five left. I don't know why my camera keeps shaking. All right, eight minus five equals blank. I'm gonna take away five. I'll just quick take away that five so I can see that there are three left. Go ahead and do this one on your own. Okay, let's read the directions. Subtract. Make a math drawing for each problem like the ones above. Write a number bond. Let's do seven minus five equals blank first. I'm gonna draw my seven beads with five red. And two white. And now minus five. I'll just quick take away those five red ones so that I know that there are two left. Next is seven minus two equals blank. So I'm gonna do the five red and two white again. like I have more dots, but I don't. I just made these ones a little bigger. Minus two. Quickly take away those two. Five left. Let's do a number bond. How many do we have as the whole? Seven. And what were the two parts? Five and two. Okay. Go ahead and do this one on your own. Make the beads. Looks like you just have to do one and then fill in the number bond. Okay, if you're not done yet, that's okay. You can always come back and finish. Let's move to the back and read those directions. It says, solve. Visualize your five groups to help you. Seven minus five equals blank. 
So if you visualize your seven, you know that there's five red and two white, right? What if you took away the five red? How many would be left? The two white, right? Right. How about seven minus blank equals five? So you can almost visualize the beads and your number bond here because your seven is made up of five red and two white. So here's your five, here's your seven. The other part is the two. Eight minus three equals blank. How would you make eight with your beads? You have the five red, and then how many white? And you have three white. So if you take away the three white, how many red would you have left? Five. Nine minus blank equals four. So nine is made up of your five red and four more white. This is where you can visualize that number bond again because you have a nine and four. So what piece is missing? The five, right? The five red. Because nine is made up of five red and four white. 9 minus blank equals 5. Same thing. Very similar to this one. So you have your 9. 9 is made up of your 5 red. And how many more white? 4. 8 minus blank equals 3. Think about how your eight would look with red and white beads. Write the number you think would go here. I'm not going to give it to you this time. I want you to think about it. Here we go. Let's read the directions. Complete the number bond and number sentence for each problem. 4 minus 2 equals blank. Well, this is a doubles, right? You have 4. You take away 2, that would be 2 left. Or if you could just visualize it this way, that would work great too. Six minus three equals. Here's my six. Minus three. Three left. Go ahead and do nine through twelve on your own. Okay, let's read the directions for 13. If you're not done yet up here, that's okay. You can come back and finish. Here we go. Complete the number sentences below. Circle the strategy that can help. So we're going to complete the number sentence and then we're going to decide, did the five groups, imagining our beads help us best or knowing our doubles, did that help us best? So here we go, seven minus five equals blank. Well, that's not a double, is it? So I'm thinking we're gonna need the five groups. 
if we have 7, 7 is made up of a 5 and 2 more. If we took away the 5, that would mean we were left with the two white ones. So thinking about our 5 groups, beads helped. 7 minus 2 equals blank. Is this a double? Nope. So imagine 7, how you would make a 7 with your 5 group beads. You would have your 5 red, and how many more white? 2, but we're taking away 2, so how many would be left? Go ahead and write your answer in here. We had to use the 5 group beads to think about that one, because it's not a double. 8 minus 4 equals blank. Is this a double? 4 and 4? Yep, 4 and 4 make 8. So we know if we take away 4, there would be 4 left. We know our doubles. We used our doubles strategy. How about 8 minus 3? Is that a double? Nope. So let's visualize our five group beads. Eight is made up of five red, and how many more white? So think about what you're taking away, and how many would be left? Eight minus three equals blank. We used our five group bead strategy. How about 8 minus 5 equals blank? Again, you got to think about how that 8 is made with their beads. How many you're taking away, which leaves us with how many left over. Write your answers in. Last one, 10 minus 5 equals blank. Is this a double? Oops, sorry. So we have 10. Take away 5. 5 left. We solve that using our doubles. Okay. If you didn't finish this side or the other side, make sure you go back and complete everything. Put it in the done tub when you're done. If you're going to need extra time, it'll go in the to-be-finished tray.